Should I invest in Oklahoma City in 2019? What's Oklahoma City about? Hi, I'm Landon. I'm one of the top 10 realtors in Oklahoma City right now, and I just want to share a piece of information that I've got for you if you're trying to decide whether Oklahoma City is for your portfolio or not. Whether you're buying a first-time rental or you're looking at upgrading your portfolio or moving your portfolio from a different city. Oklahoma City has a unique offering in that it's a linear market. Whether you're investing in a cyclical market or a linear market, there are two different strategies. Okay, Each one has their pros and cons. But a linear market is known as being really flat over time periods. You don't get huge gains, but you also don't get huge losses. For in fact, in Oklahoma City, during the deepest, darkest days of the recession, we only went down 7.5%. Oklahoma City is a real safe bet. Well, what does that mean, though? That means that you can't get huge appreciations. Like for example, we're running about 3.5% annual appreciation. So what does that mean when you buy? Well, you have to buy where the cash flow works from day one. I'll never have you buy a property in Oklahoma City that doesn't make money from day one. What I mean by that is your property needs to flow cash from day one. Okay, you need to be able to rent it out, and if it's not ready to rent out, you need to be able to buy it in a way to where you can renovate that property. That's when you're getting your main equity, is renovating the property, getting it up to rental standards. Or maybe you're buying a property where it's been you know, really under market rent, and then you can bring up that rent over time through renovation of that property. Those are two strategies. But I want to go over real quick. Uh, Oklahoma City in general. So if you're just starting to look, if you haven't gotten any of my emails yet, uh, I challenge you to email me or you can visit okcrealestateshow.com. You can, you can message me on there. You can message me on OKC Real Estate Show on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can ask for some properties and I'll start mailing you out some of these properties that we recommend that would be good investments. We can chat about what your portfolio is. But I want to show you the map here just so you can get an idea of kind of what Oklahoma City is about and what the out of the land is. So let's check that out. This is going to give us a, a map overlay of what we've got going on here uh, in MLS. This is the portal. We'll normally send this out to a lot of our investors. This is stuff that we also use here as local realtors. Okay, so kind of the layout of the map. We've got Oklahoma City here. To our north, we have Edmond. To our south, we have Moore. Okay, then we go down to uh, Norman, which is a city south of Moore. This is where Oklahoma University is at. This is our airport is over here. And then Tinker Air Force Base is gonna be in this area next to Dell City. Midwest City is gonna be here. So when we talk about investing next to the Air Force Base, this is where that's gonna be, is this whole area really even stretching over to here. And then you get some officers that'll go this way. This core right here, if we zoom in, this is considered Northwest Oklahoma City right here. Again, if we zoom out a little bit, we take crosshairs right here. This is the kind of the meridian or the middle of Oklahoma City, and this right here, I-40 being your horizontal, you know, your X and Y axis, basically. Um, on the northwest corner, that's this section. This is what we talk about. This is the highest appreciation on average. Okay, this is the more, and, and higher rents are in this region here, with this being the highest and really into uh, some of Nichols Hills and then the village, this whole area there. So let's zoom in real quick, kind of get an idea of what these areas are. Okay, so this is like your Midtown Paseo, Oklahoma City. This is Crestwood, Linwood. These are all 1930s homes, single family dwellings. You can get some interesting uh, character going on here. You got a lot of arts and, and restaurants and things like that that are in this area. So you get a lot more vibrant renters, but you also have a really fragmentation. Oklahoma city has great streets but then really crappy streets just I mean right next to each other so you really have to be careful that's where you want to use your Google Maps or Google Street View drop down on that street if like for example looking at this multifamily property here 125,000 which again is fantastic uh, for multifamilies but anyways uh, but you want to see the area right so you'll go ahead and switch over to Google Maps and then drop down on the street view and just scroll around and see what the actual houses look like next to it and check for tarps and cars and crappy stuff like that that would tell you man this area is not no bueno um, 
235 splits us in half. And then as we go to the northeast section, historically, this is a lot heavier in the section eight. So you've got a lot of housing that you can pick up for $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 all day long single family dwellings that'll rent for between 600 to at the highest 900 in this area and then as we get towards where this bell circle is this is the actual capital uh, and then right around here at Lincoln Terrace this area has really uh, had a gentrification recently okay moving south of I-40 we get down to the south side right in here this area is heavily on the demographics now again um, you know, as a realtor, we have to be careful with how we talk about the the social demographics in an area. But I will say that the the amount of Spanish speaking that goes on in this area of town is uh, statistically higher than the amount of Spanish speaking that goes on on the north side over here. So you can see. This multifamily, for example, seventy-seven thousand. Um, but just watch your rent and the type of tenants that are in there, and just make sure that your property management company can handle that that particular uh, type of rental property. So, anyways, um, as we move further south, we get into more. This is where that big tornado came through, came ripping across. For Oklahoma City, we really don't have too many big tornadoes, but down here, man, we got a big honker through there. So. Um, a lot of investors are kind of weary, but to tell you the truth, tornadoes really are a rarity. Um, so uh, it's even though we get more of them than average here, it's still a really rare event. So anyways, um, moving up to Edmond. Edmond, you can find some deals, although a lot of the good properties have really been priced out lately. Occasionally you can find them. This is going to be more of your um, suburban uh, look. I mean, you know, the track homes and stuff like that are up in that area. And really, if you just take this uh, whole city imagine Oklahoma City which was founded literally overnight uh, during the land rush of the 1800s all the decades are going from here out it's emanating out so when we start here we start in the 1900s 1920s 1930s and then as we get further and further out we get to the 1980s and then 2000s and so on and so forth so you'll see uh the difference in homes you know slab foundation will hit about this marker so anyways um i just wanted to give you some tidbits if you guys want some more detailed stuff please feel free to contact me direct uh, but this is just get you started on oakland Oklahoma City investing. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked this, please comment at the bottom and you can also email me at landon at okcreal.com. You can also listen to our podcast every Wednesday on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast at OKC Real Estate Show. Again, look for the OKC Real Estate Show. Thanks and you guys have a happy investing. Love to chat with you anytime. Email, call, text. I love it. Talk to you later.